Happening here, it's the return of some spooky fun at the zoo. Now, each year, Roger Williams Park Zoo offers an incredible nighttime display of thousands of illuminated jack-o'-lanterns. Brendan's there live this morning getting a first-hand look at the big event, which just kicked off last night. Hey, Brendan. Hey, that's right, Michaela. It all started last night, and we are here this morning, bright and early, getting the scoop on yet another Jack o' Lantern spectacular. It's going to be just an incredible month here at Roger Williams Park Zoo. You think Halloween, you think spooky. Well, when you think spooky, you probably think this face, but that's not why you called. That's not why you're here. Let's talk to the man of the hour, John Reckner. John, good morning, sir. Good yeah, morning, Brandon. It's great to be back with you here again today. Talk about a little bit, remind the folks out there of how this thing all got started, because you've been there since the beginning. Uh, it's been 28 years now, Brandon, and uh, every year it gets a little bigger, and uh, we add uh, special dimensions to the show every new season. And what's great is people look forward to this year after year. It's a fall tradition, isn't it? It is, and that's why we try to come up with new themes, and uh, that's what we're all about. And let's talk about this year's theme, if we could. This year we're doing the American Treasures, which is commemorative stamp art, and it encompasses so many different fields. We got, uh, uh, we're ending it with the forever stamp images, which uh, Washington crossing the Delaware, Iwo Jima, iconic uh, images like that. It's really cool, and it's so much fun for the entire family. We love coming out here every year and sort of previewing it for the folks. But you know, it's it's a fall morning right now. It's a little bit chilly, but it's going to get up into the 70s today. So that kind of a affects how you preserve and take care of the pumpkins throughout the day, doesn't it? It kind of changes things. Oh, without a doubt, uh, you'll see tons of fans down here, Brandon, and what we do is try to cure these pumpkins. Hey, there's one right now. It's my biggest fan. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> But we'll put these under, the, the, we gut them, put them under the fans for about 72 hours. It hardens up and increases the shelf life. And that's what it's all about because we want to preserve these so that when that way when the people come out, they get the best show possible. And let's talk, if you want to come down with me here this way, John, about this first one. This is a great example here. We've got Star Wars, don't we? Uh, this will be in our sci-fi UFO skit. And this is uh, one of 18 different themes we have this year. And we'll make our way down here so the folks can get a little bit of a preview and see some of these spectacular pumpkins, of course. What's this one all about? Italy, Venice on the water here, and that'll be on the bridge among many of the Italian images. It makes me want to hop in a gondola. And right here, sir? Uh, the hedgehog will go into our go backyard garden theme. Very good. And I want to make sure that we make our way all the way down to the end here because we have some very special. Here's a good looking pumpkin right there. I just want to say if we could only have it be bigger. <laughs> We're going to give you Atlantic Giant next year, a 2,000-pounder. And we don't want to forget, look at the entire Roadshow crew here represented, Brendan Kirby, Michaela Johnson, and Will Gilbert. Three little pumpkins is what we are, and we've never looked better, have we? Look at these. I think they're going to look just great on the Roadshow set. What do you say? Oh, I say so, Brandon. This is the guy right here, John Reckner. Thank you, as always. Thanks, Brandon. It's Thank going to you. be a great great month we're gonna have much more as the morning rolls on what are you smiling at there he's smirking he never stops smirking does he much more from the zoo a little later for now back to you welcome back everybody as halloween approaches it is a great time to take the little ones to roger williams park zoo for some spooky fun with the jack-o-lantern spectacular brendan is there live right now to check out the fun that's to be had at the park brendan Hey, Will, that's right. We are here. Roger Williams Park Zoo is the place. The jack-o'-lantern spectacular. They have been working so hard here all morning. We've been seeing some behind-the-scenes action, how they get this thing all ready to go. It is going to be a great, great display this year. It kicked off last night, and it runs through November 6th, so there's lots of time for you to come down, have some fun with the entire family. And right now, to talk a little bit about the sponsorship involvement, we have Barbara Cottom from Citizens Bank. Good morning, Barbara. Good morning. It is so nice to have you here with us today and really talk Talk about what it means for you guys, all of you as a community at Citizens, to be a part of this great event because this is something that's been around for, for so long and to have your name attached to it must be so rewarding for the whole team. It is. We're really proud to 
partner with Roger Williams Park to present Jack O' Lantern Spectacular. We've been the inaugural sponsor and been with them through the years, but it's really important because it's about community, and that's what Citizens Bank is. We are a part of the community, so we're here providing a great experience for children as young as two years old up to grandparents. Everybody combining together, family and friends, to create special memories and traditions that last year after year on really what I think is the premier jack-o'-lantern event in the country. Oh, no doubt about it. And, you know, we're kind of getting uh, some shots. Of, you know, we're here on the bridge here. It's such a, a, a perfect, an ideal location, if yeah. you will, for you, this event. What do you like most about it, personally? Is it something that you've been coming to for years? Like, what is it for you that you enjoy most? I think, I think all of the pumpkins bring a smile to your face. You can't say it without smiling because you remember the glow of all of the pumpkins. I marvel at the carved pumpkins. The intricacies are unbelievable and I can tell you that the pumpkins that my family cut on our kitchen table don't look like these, and I'm sure they don't look like yours. No, no, I, I am not. I'm, I am a pumpkin carving novice. I have no ability in that area, so it really is fun to come out, like you said, and marvel at the great ability and, and really the display that, that is here day after day. And certainly we want this to be something that families can enjoy together, and at Citizens there is really that family atmosphere, isn't there? There is. It's about community and bringing people together. And everybody should know that not only are they going to have a great night, but them coming here and our sponsorship also helps support the work of the zoo throughout the year. Conservation, education, animal care. So it's a great win for everybody. Come be part of the community. And if you come on Thursday nights, Citizens Bank colleagues will be here and we'll be giving you trick-or-treat bags. What? is better than that. I'm the biggest kid of all. I love trick-or-treat bags. That sounds pretty good, Barbara. Thank you very much. Some candy in it, too. Oh, you see that? She promised it to me, and she promised it on air. She has to do it. I like candy. We like candy. It's nothing but fun. Well, thank you once again, Barbara. Great pleasure to have you here. The Roger Williams Park Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular. It's all happening through November 6th. We will have even more a little later on the Roadshow today. For now, back to you. Hey guys, it's going great. We are here continuing to get a great preview of this amazing event that happens every fall right here at Roger Williams Park Zoo. It is the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular. They've got a new theme. They've got new attractions. It's so much fun. It's all happening right here at the zoo. And joining me right now, joining us to tell us more is our good friend, Executive Director of the Zoo, Dr. Jeremy Goodman. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Always nice to have you join us here on the Roadshow. This guy knows it all, so we come to you for all those pertinent details, all the things we need to know with regard to this event. Let's talk tickets right off the bat. What do we need to know here? Because things have changed a little bit this year. Absolutely. We heard our visitors loud and clear and one of the biggest issues that we've had historically is because of the popularity we've had long lines getting into the park and parking issues and things like that. We think we've resolved all those now. What we've done is we've gone to time ticketing on the weekends. So uh, you buy all your tickets online for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Monday through Thursday are still our value nights and you can just buy tickets either online or at the gate. Mm -hmm. But for weekends only, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, you have to buy them online and you'll buy them for a specific time slot from 5.30 to 6.30, 7.30 to 8.30. You can come in during that time. Once you're in, you can stay as long as you like. That's not a problem, but we're really trying to control the experience. We want to make sure that the trail isn't overcrowded, that people have plenty of parking. So um, we really think it's going to be a great improvement. But you, if you're planning on coming tonight, buy your tickets online. Yeah, we want to make sure that we maximize the enjoyment for all visitors to the zoo, of course. And it's not just the jack-o'-lantern spectacular. As great as that is, you have Spooky Zoo as well, which is a really interesting, a compelling component to October here at the zoo. Yeah, so Spooky Zoo is during the daytime on the 29th and 30th of October from 10 to 3. And kids should come in costume. We've got safe trick-or-treating here, uh, with lots of candy stations, um, you know, we have entertainment. It's just so much fun. You get to see all the animals out during the day. Fall's a great time to come during the day, and then you can just come back right in the, during the evening, go buy your tickets, and then uh, have some dinner and come back for, for the jack-o'-lanterns. You can make a full day of it. It's a terrific thing. And talk about how this event itself, obviously everyone has come to know
know and love this. They just adore the Jack o' Lantern Spectacular, but it's so much more than just this month. This event really carries you throughout the year. It allows you to do so many things here, doesn't it? It is. It's our largest fundraiser that we have at the zoo. A lot of people don't realize that the zoo is a not for profit. We're a 501c3, and we rely on the income from, from this special event, from the Jack o' Lantern Spectacular, to help fund all of our great work that we do here our conservation work, our education work, helping take care of all the animals. So it's really critical. You're not only coming out to an incredible art event, a cultural event, but you're really helping support a great cause. And let's talk about the Pride Factor. You know, we spoke to John Reckner earlier and certainly citizens, their involvement, but for everybody, the amount of work that goes into this event is extensive. So let's talk about how proud you are once this thing is up and running. It is amazing. Uh, we have the best staff in the world.